this is Michael. Hey, nice Michael. Good to meet you. Michael used to live at 3090 Steel <laughs> Avenue. Okay. And he has uh, multiple uh, mental health issues, yeah. and he had a crack problem. God knows what other problems. <laughs> um, he used to call us six, seven, eight times a night. Called IA on me multiple times for not riding parking tickets on his street. Called me a motherfucker everywhere he went. Not every time. Not every time, but many, many times. Um, Slow. Back. CFD would not respond to his house without police escort because he had threatened him so many times. Um, I got him probated and that worked for a minute and then you kind of fell off the wagon again. But now he's been, how long have you been clean? Uh, it's 22 months. It was, it's June 6th of 2020. Then near two years. One of the most frustrating things about being a police officer is that you're forced to watch people make the same mistakes over and over and over again. And regardless of how good the advice is that you give these people, they often refuse to take it and get themselves caught in these negative loops. The video for today is going to show a police officer running into a drug addict that he had not seen for quite some time. The reason they had not seen each other is because this man was able to get himself into a program and is now 22 months clean and sober. This officer, recognizing that this was a very difficult thing for this man to accomplish and that this is a very big deal, took some time out of his day to have a cup of coffee and celebrate this man's achievement. This is a very rare encounter between a police officer and a citizen. Yeah, What's up, you get in that parking lot. I'll be right there. Right, go. I'm gonna come see you. <laughs> What's going on, man? We're going, we going to Nick Earl now. We're not certain out here. Good to see you, dude, brother. Good to see you. I heard about you. Man, um, I said that's him right there. I said, yeah. That's funny. Let me grab my coffee. I'll stand right, here yes, and talk. Sir. That's what I was looking for over here. Are you going to, did you get any? Uh, no, I'm short on change right now. Well, here, let me, I'll go park the car and I'll go get you a cup of coffee. Thanks, brother. Meet me over by the door. One time, one. Hello. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't know there's another run. I'll be there in victory. Yep. Uh. So, what are you doing over here, man? Man, I'm. Fucking lighthouse, man. You heard lighthouse? Is that an outreach or something? Uh, okay. Yeah, it's a uh, year long program. Well, let's go get your coffee. Yeah, all right, sounds good. It's a year long program. It's out in. Well, they got a, one of you people lost some rocks and they got, yeah, come, come out west. But um, it's a year long program. It's in Bexley and Reynoldsburg. They okay. got a sober living. They got like they got like 100 houses now for men and women. And you're living in like a group home with those well, type people? Well, I've completed it. We have completed Okay. It. You go first, man. Sir. Yeah, you right. Let me mark busy here. Alright. 193. Can you mark me on a 16A at uh, Solvent and Hank Where's the coffee at? Alright. Good morning. I'll let you see that. So you're over, are you in like Reynoldsburg or something? Yeah, I was at 7448 East Main uh, for, damn, uh, for over a year. Where are you living now? Well, I'm still waiting for a new apartment. I can't get into an apartment until the uh, middle of uh, oh, yeah, March, April, May. I gotta wait till May. I'm still completing everything. February 1st, I completed my outpatient. Mm -hmm. You go five day, four day group, three day group, and an outpatient. Everything's finished. I got my certificates. Um, shit, I'll, tell you, I'll show you on this outside. Completed through uh, Judge Moorhart's uh, Lincoln Court. Okay. Mental health. 
No, you're not crazy at all, man. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hand says, I just seen him Tuesday. What were we on Thursday now? Yeah, yeah. he told me. Yeah. Like he was at the sub and he was like, yeah, Michael was looking for you. He said, that mama, he said you look good, man. Said, you do. I you sound good. Thank you. Good. He said, you never give me any trouble. He said, up there. He said man, one day he was all right, the next day he's an SOP. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said not anymore. I said, I said, I ain't That's gonna funny. Give no problems. Yeah, you were special, man. <laughs> The special needs, uh, special needs to go to Amy's yeah, a once. Bit. We got to Amy's donuts. Yeah, we did. But uh, after we went to Nick here, <laughs> but I knew you cared when you uh, when I seen you and that female that day, and you took me to Amy's finally. Yeah. But you, you said, you said what they say? I said, what the hell? You they said they kept me for two months. <laughs> yeah. Well, they should, probably should have kept you longer. No, hell no. That's funny. They, do, they didn't do. No, they don't they do anything. They don't do anything. And you know the problem with Columbus. I mean. I'm going to go to Holy Family. Oh, alarm, and get some food and I see Hannah. Mm -hmm. I guess he's getting a big raise or a big promotion. Yeah, he took the test. He's getting promoted. Yeah. Man, you look good all clean. You're always clean shaven, though. Yeah, except for the looks mustache. Like you, looks like you got a little bit of a tan now. Yeah, I'm working days now. Yeah, so I get out weird. in the sun a little bit. He said, he, he, he said, uh, I'll come up there and see him. I said, I don't know how close I want to go to the hilltop. Yeah, yeah it's, it's probably a not a good idea for you to be around here. I have to pee places and things. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm always telling people. I just turn my head when the girls. I, yeah. I did some painting a couple, I guess it be two weeks ago on Tuesday. It was two weeks ago Tuesday. I met a guy at the, uh, hey, let me get this and go outside. Yeah, You're they're uh, ready to They'll run. give it to me for free. Ready to run. Oh, really? Cool. Yeah. Can I get his coffee? Yeah. Thank you. Are we good? All right. Thank you, bud. Thank you, sir. I got to get some new shoes for this. Huh. Um, you know, the last few days getting wet. So, where are you actually staying? Do you have a tent or anything? or? No, I've never done that. Um, shit, man, you know what? I, People okay, letting you so, crash with them? Well, no, not really either. I can, I can sit around sometimes and bring. Wait, where's your? Oh, your bag. You left your bag in there. Yeah. I thought we left it out by your car. Yeah. You got me slept in. I think. <laughs> you going in the bathroom down there? Yeah. No. There ain't That's the last thing in the I world I want to do. Some on me. I would have eventually. Yeah. Yep. Well, I did think that you said it by my car for a minute, and I was like, no, that's yeah, not what I did. I do have this. I found this on the damn road. Yeah. Broke and shit, but. Yeah. I'll do away. something. The good thing to have on you is when you. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's not a big deal. It's not illegal, really, but. No, not at all. Unless you're trying to fuck with somebody. But, yeah. uh, no, so this program, Lighthouse, man, I completed everything. They was going to let me stick around until I got an apartment. Mm -hmm. And, uh,. Oh shit, you called for backup already. No, they just come and check on me. Here, I'll tell him. Hey, here, come here and talk to this guy real quick. No, he doesn't. Oh. But he's heard stories. Oh, no shit, they all have. I got a getting knotted up. Oh, I got some stories for you. Oh shit. All right. You got stories for me? I do. You know what I wanted? The night that you got the motherfuckers that shot at me. Shot them back and they said that. I was sitting in that cruiser. Said, that's got him. I said, Fuck. Oh, that's funny. Remember that? Or, well, Not really. Everything yeah, rolls together. Yeah, yes, sir. Hey, this is my good friend Jeff. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Jeff, hey. this is Michael. Hey, nice Michael. Good to meet you. Michael used to live at 3090 Steel <laughs> Avenue. <laughs> okay. And he has uh, multiple <laughs> mental health issues, yeah. and he had a crack problem. God knows what other problems. <laughs> um, he used to call us six, seven, eight times a night called IA on me multiple times for not writing parking tickets on his street. Called me a motherfucker everywhere he went. Not every time. Not every time, but many, many times. Um, Slow fast. CFD would not respond to his house without police escort because he had threatened him so many times. Um, I got him probated and that worked for a minute and then you kind of fell off the wagon again. But now, He's been, how long have you been clean? Uh, it's 22 months. It was, it's June 6th of 2020. Been there two years. Wow. Completed all these programs. Program called okay. Lighthouse out, out east and now they got a 
ones for set boxing out here. So yeah. Two seventy five. Does it look good? Fantastic, dude. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. That's what he saw me. He's like, dude, that is no shit. way. You remember him? him? Oh, oh dude, he. I was burned in his brain for a long. Did you remember him? Well, oh tell fuck him yeah. Your Facebook profile. You made. Yeah, I did. I he used to. He was. He used to tell the Sergeant B Company Slaughter. guys. He's like, "Where's that fucking Sergeant Slaughter at, Sergeant motherfucker?" Slaughter. And blah blah blah. <laughs> and <Matt Swosa laughs> so. Chase him down when they broke him. Yeah. Or supposedly broke him. Yeah. So I changed my Facebook profile to Sergeant Slaughter just for him, and I showed it to him one night. I used to fuck with him all the time. Oh man! But I was the only one. And but then, so I kept begging him to go to net care, and he refused to go for for months and months and months. So I went and got him probated. Said we're going to Amy's Donuts. Yeah. <laughs> well, but that was because you weren't home when I went to take you to Amy's Donuts. I made a date with him. To, I was like, I'll take you to Amy's, and then we're gonna go to. Net care afterwards. He's like, you know what, I'll be there. So I went to his house at 11 o'clock, like I was supposed to, and uh, he wasn't there. Where he was was he was at the casino. Or was that? Yeah. Was that the same night? Yep. And the casino called in on a trespasser, and it was him. So I get there, and he comes out, probably drunk and cracked out. I don't know about drunk. Yeah, I didn't like how it was all Yeah. And uh, and he had like some food and stuff with him. He he hops in my car. He's like, all right. He's like, let's go get some donuts. And the other yeah, I was like, nope, you weren't home. We're not getting donuts right now. And uh, man, he threw you had like sunflower, sunflower seeds. seeds. Sunflower seeds. He threw them all over the back of my car. Try to get him through the cage. He was trying to. Yeah, he was saying that he was going to kick me in the teeth if I opened the back door. Yeah. We had to. You were have about six or seven of them there. So I called for backup. And then he wasn't. He was never a problem, but he ran his mouth like a motherfucker. Yeah, I did. And I said I did a whole lot of this. And she was trying to get him. Yeah. And then I think he just took the pills though. I don't think they gave oh, you a shot. No, I think they did. They? Damn, you, ended up, you ended up putting up with it though. Uh, but no, that's my Three wrist. weeks later, I see him and a female one, driving one, down through there when I was walking back down Grace or something towards Steel. And, uh, and he said, he said, what the? He said, come here. He said, we're going to Amy's now. So we actually yeah. did go to Amy's. I did take him. But I got said, the picture. He said, uh, so what'd they say? I said, motherfucker, they took me to Twin Valley and yeah. stayed two weeks. I said, what do you think they said? Yeah. But O'Han said, he said, man, he said, you never did give me a problem. He said, you, uh, he said, there were some times when you really didn't want to talk or nothing. You were just quiet. He yeah. said, but he said, you never give me any problems. He said, you're... He said one time he'd be a SOB, the next time he was a good guy. Yeah. He said, well, when he got him for shooting at me, you know, I fuckers I right vaguely remember. Yeah. They, they, they shot at me one night right in the middle of Sullivan. Well, what'd you do to him? I didn't do nothing. <laughs> I uh, suppose, I guess she died, man, Erica, so really American. Oh, right really? Here, back here in Wedgwood. They said a month or two ago she overdosed. Huh. That was weird, too, but I've been thinking about her, but uh, not that sucks. party with her. But, yeah. But uh, I had been with her the night before. That was the last time I party, was June 5th of uh, 2020. Really? Went to jail the next day. That's when it was Friday, June 6th of 2020. I was going to ask you what mm -hmm. made you get clean. What did um, it for you? Man, you know what? Well, I went, Judge Moorhart made me sit down there for 38 days. And then, like July 13th or something, 2020, yeah. she said, You need to get out of Columbus. She sent me to um, Recovery Council down in Waverly, Pike, Pike County. Yeah. And um, yeah. went down there. It was supposed to be 90 days, but uh, <laughs> I ended up staying for 120. Who's got a place down there? Uh, the Recovery Council. It's called Recovery Council. And, yeah, you know, Recovery Works and shit like I've that. Got, here. I've got a female I'm trying to get down to Waverly, and it, I think the female version is something different. Is that that Kayla? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's right on 23 in the old Dollar General building. It so it help getting away from here. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it did, but for four months, and then I was like, okay, so what are you going to do? I said, you know, I still don't have an apartment. I always said that if I had a place, wouldn't have to run around fucking Solomon and Hague. And well, the problem is you had a place for a minute and you kind of fucked it up. My sisters? No, well, your sisters first, but then that place up on Broad Street. Oh, yeah, the uh, the Redmond House. Yeah. Right there at the corner. Yeah, that was through Southeast. Yeah. I didn't think Southeast ever did a whole lot, though, but I probably, I've never given medication or places I get a chance, you know. More Are you not medicated now? No. So it was just the drugs? I think so. I mean, you know, I mean, you I do still go off sometimes. Yeah. On some, I, I like things being done like you guys. I was a firefighter part time for six years, you know, in Grove City, Jackson Township. Structure, you like that? Yeah, I like having things fucking properly in order and done right. Yeah. And, um, 
and, and I, w I would never make a good supervisor because I'd want, I wouldn't want to be looking over your shoulder, but I would, I want things done the way I do them. Yeah. Or to know that it's, you know, orders going out like a bear company I was at, you know, I'd be like, now mm -hmm. if somebody did that, I'd be all nervous that they fucked it up and didn't have the right shit. But, um, yeah, it's just like attention to detail and shit. Like, things, yeah. you know, need to be done. And, um, but it's good that you don't need meds. It was just the, the drugs that were, because you definitely have bipolar, right? Or some. Well, about definitely, yeah. But I mean, I I mean you probably on the verge of a mild case, maybe. Yeah. But it was yeah, the drugs that really exacerbated yeah. that problem, yeah. you know. And yeah. if you're not on those bad chemicals. Yeah, right. You, I'm normally. Yeah. I've got a good head on my shoulders. And That's insane. But yeah, we were getting back to what you was asking about. So I sit, I sit down there. Then came back up. I said, "So what are you doing? Just dumping me back on the street and be back? I might, you know, I've got four months clean now, but uh, no place to go. So I'll fucking start running around again." Yeah. And they're like, "No, right. we're gonna take you to the lighthouse." Okay. And we pulled up to Main Street out there, four thousand East Main and Bexley. Yeah. Or, I always say Whitehall. I always say Bexley. It's right on that Whitehall. cusp. It is. And then Reynolds Bird yeah. just down the road. But um, they, I ended up, yeah. So we got there and um, you spend. I think it was twenty-one days. I was in the apartments. They call it. And you do a meeting every night, then you get shipped out. They got probably a hundred houses now, men and women. Maybe I don't, that might even be low, but um, they're they're scattered throughout Reynoldsburg and Whitehall. Mm -hmm. And um, you go, you start off doing five day groups Monday through Friday. Then after like 90 to 120 days, you go to four day and three day and outpatient if you want to do that. But um, but I completed everything on uh, February 1st, and I was sticking around in housing. They put five of you in the house. And, um, man, we had a good house for the longest time, and then uh, I think at the end there, the uh, I, I ended up leaving housing on uh, March 10th. Would have been my dad's 95th birthday if he hadn't have died in 92. Mm -hmm. but, um, but he, uh, so I graduated. Yeah, I'm going to reach in my pocket. You're fine, man. Um, I'm not even slightly concerned I about you. Yeah. No, you. I tell you, all my shit from the Holy Family, all the prayers and shit. I need that lighter. Oh shit! Did you make Where that down in Waverly? No, that was given to me. I go to. Um, I've been going to uh, church. Saint. Uh, Saint. I got uh, Saint Cecilia. Fuck! It's at Indianola and Ninth. Okay. And it's kind of like they feed people every day. I don't yep. go up there during the week. I go to Holy Family and get food every yep. day. Good. But um. Saints, uh, what's it, what's or, again? Orthodox, uh, Two, three, three, eight. anyhow, but they, uh, I've been going to church service on Sunday, and this was given to me by the guy, he, uh, it was handmade by Christians in Jerusalem. Oh, is that right? Yeah, That's and awesome. uh, I've had a couple people wanting to, I've got these rosaries from Holy Family, though, they, yeah. I'm not Catholic or anything, I grew up like, it's always uh, good to keep you yeah, spiritual. yeah, I got a few of them, a little symbolism to help, but yeah, I got my prayers, I like, cool, brother. Yeah. I always like the, uh, Damn, when I was in jail reading the Daily Bread, and I like that Rick Warren book, uh, Purpose Driven Life. Yeah, yeah it's I a like classic. It. Yeah, but um, but yeah, shit, everything's going good, really. I just, I've had a few job opportunities. Actually, Lighthouse wants me to, I was supposed to, uh, I got my permit, my temporary, and I was supposed to go on the 31st, which was the day before. I love how people that get SSI say payday, you know, payday's on the 1st, but uh, I guess I guess we worked for a long time. Right. It's not a payday. We didn't actually work there. You have it. People stealing from it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But um, I was supposed to go on the 31st, I and I called my case manager, Laura. She was going to let me use her car, and uh, I said I think I'm going to reschedule that. So, so we didn't we didn't reschedule it. Down. No, but on fucking March. So I don't know where my fucking tokens are. Okay. Um, they must be in the bag or somewhere. But I got two coins for Link Court. Judge Moorhart's awesome, man. Yeah. Red, you know Judge yeah. Moorhart. Her and Wallace are dog. Yeah. Hmm. But um, we, we graduated that on March 9th. Got off probation. So, so I don't Your success to, story, bro. Thank you. That's you know fantastic, that? man. Yeah, I mean, that's what they say. Yeah. So, so here's my... Because him and I always want to figure out what makes someone, number one, want to get clean, where they're at in their life, the experiences they've had, and then how do they stay clean? And then your message to so many more of the people here. Well, Judge Moore okay, wants me to. Uh, they said we'd like you to stay in touch and maybe come back and talk to some people getting in uh, 
people like you. We, yeah, we had a uh, Whitehall officer come out to the Pierce Center. They got 4177 yep. East Broad. Come out and talk. And uh, I said, you know what? I, I raised my hand and I said, you know what? I want to thank you guys. I said, I'll get teared up, man. <laughs> you guys put yourself, you put your life on the line every day. And uh, the only reason that, the only reason we say you're a motherfucker, dickhead, fuck the police, is because you catch us doing shit that we shouldn't be doing, you know? Mm -hmm. We're mad at you because we get caught.